Hey YouTube people, Brian here with a little announcement. So um, here's the really good news guys. Hold on while I take a drink of my little tea here. Okay, back to what I was saying. So yeah, that's uh, Taiwanese tea or Taiwanese oolong tea from a tea shop that's like three blocks away from my apartment here. Anyway, okay, so the big announcement for today is that I got the money back. My father-in-law paid me back the money that I used to do that apartment project that totally fell through that I told you guys about in my video called uh, Shitty November and Shitty October. I got the money back, which is amazing. I I gotta keep it real with you guys. I didn't think he was gonna pay me back, but he did. And you know what? It's good. That's a big weight off my shoulders, so I can kind of relax, and um, it's nice. It's, it's one thing I don't have to worry about. So, th great. And also, the apartment hunting has begun. Yesterday, which was Sunday, I went with my wife and my oldest son, Liam, to go apartment hunting, and I took a short video just walking through the three places that we went to. I don't think any of those places are the ones that we're going to end up in, but I thought you guys might find it interesting to see what apartments look like in Taiwan. And so I'll show you the footage and I'll kind of give you the rundown of where these apartments are and what I think for each one would be the upsides and the downsides. So I'll show you that. And the very last thing I want to say is this, that months ago, maybe five or six months ago, I put out a video um, about me doing a flag contest, me doing a design your own Taiwan flag contest. Now in that video I said that I would take the first 10 people who gave me their flag designs. Well, okay, it's been like five or six months, maybe I was a little over ambitious. It's not really working out guys. I got my own flag design, I got only two other guys that did flag designs that will let me put their flag in my future video so it's not working out so what I want to say is this I'm going to I'm going to cut it off with the next flag design submission I get so just if I get one more person just one more to design a a future hypothetical Republic of Taiwan flag and submit it to me if I get one more submission then I will just go ahead and make the video where we can vote and choose our favorite and then I will, like I said, I will send out the rewards to the winner. So just one more, please. Give me one more, that's all I ask. I know I'm not going to get 10, that was way over ambitious. You know, I was thinking, you know, way too big. People don't usually get that engaged with online videos. So, um, just one more. Give me one more, guys. Come on. One, one of you out there. One of you out there. Th I know, there's lots of creative folks out there. One of you, go ahead, try your luck. Design a really cool flag. Send it in to me as a PNG or a JPEG file. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do this flag contest, okay? So, I'll go ahead, I'll put up that banner now. Yeah, there you go. All right, so please get those flag submissions into me. And uh, as always, guys, thanks very much for watching. And I will keep you guys up to date with with the apartment hunting. So later, we're gonna go check out a bunch more apartments because, like I said, I don't think we found one that really um, fits well with our family. So I'll keep you guys up to date with that. There'll probably be an apartment hunter video too. 
and an apartment hunter's video three. So this is the first apartment, guys. It's in Banqiao District in New Taipei City, near Jiangzitui MRT Station. Now, the good thing about this place, the upside, would be the, the size. It's a big place when you're talking about apartments in Taiwan, especially in Taipei or New Taipei City. So that's a big plus. And also, it's not completely fully furnished, which is good because I already have a lot of my own furnishings. Now, the kind of bad side, the downside, is it's in an old building, so, you know, it's not going to be in as good a condition as a new building or a relatively new building, and it doesn't have an elevator, which is kind of a big, you know, drawback, because we have two young kids, and when I'm not home and I'm at work, my wife is going to have a very, very difficult time holding one infant and trying to wrestle with a toddler and a stroller down the stairs. So, that's kind of that for this first apartment. Plus sides, really, really big. The price is low, comparatively. But no elevator and older building and the outside is kind of grimy and scummy but it is what it is okay Alright guys, and now we're moving on to apartment number two, also in Banqiao district, but it closer to Fuzhong MRT station, not Jiangzitui. And this one is in a brand new building, so that's a plus. It had an elevator, that's a big plus, but as you can see, it's pretty small. Really, really small compared to the first apartment that we looked at. And also, the price was a lot, a lot higher. I think at least 5,000 New Taiwan dollars a month, 5,000 NT a month more expensive than the first apartment we had a look at. So that is a huge drawback. So those two things, they, they kind of put the nail in the coffin for me in this place. I'm almost... 100% sure that we will not end up here. So that's too bad, but you get to have a look at it anyway. And here we have the third and final apartment. 
also in Banqiao District, and also close to Fuzhong MRT Station. In fact, this one was in the same exact building. So again, it's going to be new, it's going to have the elevator, that's a plus, that's a plus, but again, smaller than the first place we saw. Not good for a family of four. And the price was even more expensive than the first, or excuse me, the first and second apartments. So the first one was the cheapest, the second one was 5,000 more expensive, and this one was 8,000 more expensive. So we definitely won't be in here, but I still wanted to give you guys a quick look at it. So you can see what it's like. And uh, that's it guys, that's kind of the end of the apartment hunting. This pretty much covers the exploring for the Banqiao area in New Taipei City. Hopefully next time I do a an apartment hunter's video will be in another district, maybe in Yonghe, Zhonghe, or Sanchong, or Luzhou, somewhere out there. So that's it. Okay guys, for real this time. Bye bye.